Microbes affect the hallmarks of aging, in particular, mitochondrial dysfunction. Uh, so this is part two, and if you missed part one of this series, uh, you can click on the video in the right corner. So SARS-CoV-2, the virus that corresponds to the COVID-19 disease, uh, when that virus enters cells, that causes uh, an increase in viral RNA, non-coding RNA, and RNA transcripts to manipulate the mitochondria, which causes the mitochondria to be hijacked. And as a, as a consequence, mitochondria eject their DNA, some of their DNA into, out of the mitochondria into the cytosol. Now, uh, to look at some of that data, here we're looking at uh, mitochondrial DNA for the cytochrome B gene, uh, MTCYTB uh, on the y-axis, uh, in blood. And uh, we're comparing how much of that mitochondrial DNA is in patients that were alive at the end of an 87-day follow-up in patients that were diagnosed with the SARS-CoV-2 infection or that died. So uh, what we can see is for people that were alive at the end of the 87 uh, or an up to 87-day follow-up, uh, levels of mitochondrial DNA in blood were less when compared with people who died uh, uh, after the up to 87-day follow-up. So this suggests that the SARS-CoV-2 infection is causing uh, mitochondrial stress. Mitochondria ejects some of their DNA, and we see an increase in that mitochondrial DNA in, in their blood. Now, plasma levels of mitochondrial DNA increase during aging. Is aging characterized by an increased viral burden? So let's have a look at data. So here we're looking at, uh, again, plasma levels of mitochondrial DNA. So uh, it, mitochondrial DNA is supposed to be in mitochondria within cells. It's not supposed to be uh, out in the blood, you know, freely floating around. So that's on the y-axis, and it's plotted against age, all the way up to about 100 years old. And what we can see is that starting in the 30s, there is a significant increase in the amount of mitochondrial DNA that's in the blood going all the way up, uh, up to 100 years uh, of age. So uh, when considering the data from the previous slide, does viral burden increase during aging as a potential explanation for why mitochondrial DNA would be found at an increased amount uh, during aging? So uh, one potential candidate uh, for an increased viral burden during aging is herpes simplex virus 1, HSV1, also known as human herpes virus 1, HHV1. Uh, and the seroprevalence, so the presence of HSV1 in blood, increases during aging. So let's have a look at this data. So this is uh, uh, data from NHANES2, two different studies, NHANES2 and NHANES3. And uh, when looking at the sample sizes of these studies, we're looking at about 3,600 in NHANES2 and uh, about 12,000 in NHANES3, so about 16, 000, data for about 16,000 subjects. And what we can see is as a function of age, starting from the 12 to 19-year-olds, all the way up to 70 to 74 year olds, we can see that the presence of HSV in blood increases from 40 to 44 percent, all the way up to more than 90 percent. So a significant increase in the presence of HSV, uh, HSV in blood during aging. Now this data is for uh, people in the United States. Uh, NHANES 2 and NHANES 3 were U.S. based uh, studies. Uh, to, to support this hypothesis, what about data in other countries? Is there an increase, an age-related increase in HSV in the blood during aging? So here's data from uh, two of those countries, the top being Poland and the bottom, uh, Greece. So first, let's have a look at the uh, Poland data. And on the y-axis, we're looking at the uh, seroprevalence of HSV in blood uh, as a function of age on the x-axis. And what we can see is that 70, about 75% of the people who were 15 to 19 years old had uh, HSV in their blood, whereas people who were older than 50 had uh, more than 99% uh, HSV in their blood. Now, similarly, in Greece, we can see that when uh, starting at less than one years old, so babies that had 30 to 40 percent HSV in blood, uh, when compared with uh, people over 60 or over 50, sorry, uh, the presence of HSV in blood, HSV1, was uh, almost 90 percent. So again, significant increases in the blood of HSV1 during aging. Now, although I showed the data that um, people who are infected with uh, coronavirus, coronavirus have an increase uh, of uh, plasma levels of mitochondrial DNA, that doesn't mean that every virus is going to trigger that same effect. So is there evidence that HSV1 uh, leads to an increase in uh, mitochondrial DNA being ejected from mitochondria as a potential uh, explanation for uh, why mitochondrial DNA increases in the blood during aging? So uh, there is data that, that, that shows that to be true. So um, when looking at uh, herpes virus 1, uh, HSV1, uh, when that infects cells, that causes mitochondrial stress. Mitochondria, in, in, uh, as, a, as a response to that, release some of their DNA. 
uh, that mitochondrial DNA that's now in the cytosol that, that was supposed to be in mitochondria triggers a, 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 an intracellular uh, signaling cascade that reaches the nucleus of the cell, which then turns on antiviral gene expression. And because of that, the uh, 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 proteins are produced that lead to the inhibition of viral replication. Now, as a further explanation, this is just one example or two examples of viruses that uh, impair mitochondrial function through uh, ejecting uh, levels of mitochondrial DNA from mitochondria. But as a further explanation for the age-related uh, increase for mitochondrial DNA, are other viruses or, or microbes involved? And this is an emerging field. We need more data. So that's all I've got for now. Uh, you can find me lots of places online. Uh, have a great day.